originally they had planned a, I think it's 200 plus housing development back here. Uh, then the housing bubble hit, uh, and then we were fortunate enough to be able to work out a deal between many different local uh, government entities to come up with a plan to buy it, redevelop it in such a way that it can help uh, filter the water going into the river and uh, can be beautiful. And Myra's vision the whole time was our part was we're going to make it look nice, make it more accessible to the public and make it part of the downtown of Merritt Island from the get-go. The formal name is the, uh, the Lakes at Veterans Memorial Park, uh, as designated by the county commissioners. So they, they serve uh, to serve all the stormwater within a 165 acre area around the mall. Uh, so all the stormwater that comes in all the parking lots, the rooftops, everything along Fortenberry and in the mall area, the uh, lakes are designed to uh, bring in that stormwater and, and hold it, treatment, and release it. Uh, with a better treatment mechanism than they've had in the past into the lagoon. Uh, but we're going to be paying for the future parking, for the Honor, Honor Park, for the, for the uh, amphitheater, and we're, we paid for the board walking all around the, the big pond, and we're paying for the exercise trail and the playground coverage. So there's a lot of little things that we're doing. All the infrastructure that goes along with that is all part of uh, what we're continuing to fund for our downtown, well, our vision of downtown Merritt Island. I'm told that this is the largest Veterans Memorial Park in the state of Florida. We've been working with Myra and uh, the Merritt Island Redevelopment Agency and uh, for years uh, in the improvements of the 82 acres here. And then the amphitheater. We've got preliminary designs already done for the amphitheater and subsequent other uh, amenities are going to be along with that. There's going to be a big pavilion uh, that's going to allow people to come out and do their own concession and uh, be able to have gatherings here to raise money for whatever program they have going on. Uh, there's going to be plenty of parking um, and all in keeping with the nature and not interfering with the wildlife that's out here. Yeah, so the amphitheater will be across this lake on the other side. So you can picture, you know, you might be right in the vicinity of the amphitheater enjoying a concert or an event. And then if you want to, you know, step back, maybe from the loudness or just kind of take a, you know, a restful walk, you can come back here. You can still kind of hear the action, but you can enjoy the, uh, the, the ambiance of the lake. The amphitheater is going to go back, it's planned to go back into this area back here. It's going to be a raised amphitheater, and the idea is to be able to generate different concerts and venues for people to entertain. And all this will be open for people to be able to enjoy that entertainment. I envision art shows and all kinds of different collaborations where people can just join us as a community and, and be involved. The amphitheater is uh, partly funded by the Tourism Development Council, uh, $1.3 million. The total project will be about $2.5 million. And our, our pledge to the uh, Tourism Development Council, who of course they're driven largely by bed tax, is that we had to make the case that there'd be a lot of overnighters coming over here for events and they wanted to see at least lawn seating for 5,000 uh, people. This all begat uh, from the vision of redevelopment for 520 and the necessity to keep the stormwater from rolling out into the river without being treated. So is a, in, in a sense, it's a project that will also promote the health of the lagoon by any redeveloper in the core mall area, 165 acres, uh, will be, have the opportunity, instead of digging up the ground and putting, losing some of their valuable land to, to uh, put in a required stormwater pond, they'll, they'll be able to uh, pay a portion, uh, a, a credit, uh, back to us. So the developer, though, they'll be able to uh, Without building their own pond, they'll, just, we'll run, they'll run a pipe right into here. The water will be, will be treated. They'll have additional land for redevelopment, and they won't have to go through the one to two year permitting process. Uh, so that, that's a big boon for them and, and for us because we're going to uh, improve the uh, entire area. And someday, our long-term plan is across the lake there 
the grander vision is to relocate Fortenberry and create a town center for Merritt Island. So this has become a multifaceted program that's really turning out to be a great change for Merritt Island. Now I feel that Myra has done a lot of really wonderful projects through the years and I've been fortunate to be a part of Myra for a long time. This has got to be one of the best and it, because it's a collaboration of many different county agencies to all fund a little bit, all put a little bit of effort into it together and it's making all the difference for the environment, for re possible redevelopment and for socialization. Um, you know, just making the community even tighter than it was. It's a pretty wonderful project.